Retro X, I'm really, really, really sincerely sorry to hear that. He says, sad news, our cat Seneca has passed away earlier today. She was 15 and she had a good life. It's been a tough day, so take a little time, everyone, and love your fur babies a little more tonight. Well, Retro, I will say to you what I say to most when uh, when these kind of things happen. First of all, it is a part of life, and you know, it is what it is, but it's very sad. I know. It's, it's like losing, losing a pet could be the same as losing a beloved friend uh, and even a close family member. Because pets really do become like a close family member over the course of their life, especially one that's let, lived with you as long as Seneca did. Uh, but what I always say is thus, as long as that cat had a good life with you, those happy memories, uh, that's what's important, right? The fact that that cat had those happy memories with you and had a good life, and you gave it a good life. And you should be proud of yourself if you did. And remember that if you keep those memories with you forever, that the cat will no longer be gone. It will always be a part of your memory and your life and, and you know, the things you take with you for the rest of your life, so... Rest in peace to Seneca. And now I'm tearing up because it's very sad to lose. I know it's very sad to lose a pet. I, I love, I've uh, lost pets before as well. Now, you know, War Dog Leader, there's no way for us to know if what you're saying in the stream chat is legitimate or not. You could be someone completely making stuff up or you could be completely legitimate. Appreciate the sentiment and sorry to hear about a family member that passed away, but no one wants to hear you make this about how I'm in the wrong for being stressed in my life because you have a situation that's worse. Go run your own stream if you want to do that. We don't, you know what I mean? Like he's trying to make me look like a villain because he says someone passed away and he's doing better than me. Wow, well good for you. Good for you, go <laughs> run your own stream and everyone could go watch it. <laughs> Ridiculous, everyone wants to turn life into like a competition. When people want to compare sufferings and compare life situations, it's like, wow, you're the king of suffering, good for you. My, what's going on with me with you? Oh, well, my life is worse than yours and I'm better than you. Well, good for fucking you. Go on your fucking pedestal, fucking statue to your greatness because you can do better with meals when you have something worse than what's going on with me. Like, what the fuck? Get the fuck out of here, man. That is so fucked up that people would do that. Go ahead. You know what? Officially for tonight's stream, you are the king of suffering. <laughs> Thanks for coming in and making yourself, propped yourself up on my stream. We really needed that. Really. Unreal. And here we go, here come the trolls. Well, I knew we were going to be here, too, because you know the trolls would always be here when I come back from when I'm not feeling good, so. You're a moron, please speak up now so I can get rid of you before we start with gameplay. And now War Dog has earned himself a ban, because it's obvious either he's a troll or he's just someone who is just going to be here to derail everything, and tough shit. Goodbye. Goodbye. Moron. Losing a pet could be the same as losing a beloved friend, uh, and even a close family member. 